Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to fix this problem on Windows 11 system. In the first step, we need to open Task Manager. So, once we are here, just wait for 3 to 4 seconds. After that, search for Task Manager. Simply select it, right click on it, and click on End Task. Once done, simply go to search bar, type in Control Panel and then click on network internet before we select network internet make sure you are selected view by as category then select network and internet then click on network and sharing center then click on change adapter settings select is your select your internet connection right click on it and select properties then select ipv4 and open its properties once we are here, we need to check this option. Use the following DNS server addresses and put this DNS server address 8.8.8.8. Again, press tab button, then type 8.8.4.4. Once done, click on OK. Close this window. Close all windows one by one. Now we need to press Windows key plus R key together to open run and simply type your temp temp and hit enter so on this on this uh, temp folder in here you will get multiple folders and files we need to select all these files and simply delete them once done close this window again press windows key plus r key together to open run now type in percent temp percent and click on ok again you will get the multiple folders and files here we need to select all these files and folders simply right click on them and select delete so try to delete them once done close this window and in the last step try to simply right click anywhere on the taskbar and select task manager once we are here click on run new task then click on browse button go to this pc open c drive open windows folder then open system32 folder after that find out cmd.exe file and click on open now this will be our main path then check this box and click on ok once we are here we need to execute some commands so type in ipconfig space slash flush dns and hit enter then type ipconfig space slash renew and hit enter this will take some time to complete the process after that we need to type in netsh space winsock space reset and hit enter so we must restart the computer in order to complete the reset so type in exit to close the command prompt window then click here select this and click on restart so that's it guys your problem will be solved and you are good to go